Hi, I'm Ryan, and my life is average. All right, everybody, welcome back to another edition of Drunk Guy Reacts with with me. And uh, today we had a little uh, old smoky whiskey. Okay, don't drink unless you're over the age of 21. Also, maybe don't drink ever because it's bad. All right, so uh, I wasn't going to do this, but after the incredible outpour of people hitting me up on social media, um, telling me to do uh, a reaction to Jake Paul and his Team 10 crew uh, to its Everyday Bro Live at the Teen Choice Awards, which is really a thing. He performed at the Teen Choice Awards, an actual award show on television. So I, I saw, it was like, they only showed 15 seconds of it on the actual show, but then I was sent a link that I have here that I have not watched yet, and apparently it's the whole thing, unless I'm being trolled. If so, kudos to you, and I'll just upload because I need to. So, I had two glasses of whiskey. For me, that's enough to make me squint and be a little loopy. Uh, so, without further ado, uh, and I only watch Team 10 stuff if I'm, if I'm drunk because I can't do it sober because I get sad. So, here we go. Here is Team 10 performing its everyday bro at the Teen Choice Awards. I can't believe I'm saying that. I can't believe that's a thing. Well, the crowd's already cheering. Hey, what's going down, people? Yo, 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 yo. Did y'all forget that it's every day, bro? <sighs> no, Jake, we haven't forgot that it's every day, bro, because you remind us every day. Wait up, wait up, wait up, wait up. They don't want to see us winning. Ugh. Let's hit it. We don't, we don't want to see you performing on stage. That's what we don't want. We, we, you're allowed to live. We made this song in three hours. <laughs> we made this song in three hours. That is not something you want to admit. Okay, you're not like Ed Sheeran that can be like, I got this vision and I wrote a song in three hours and it was perfect. In this case, that means all 9,000 of whoever's in Team 10 wrote and recorded this song in three hours. Not shocking. Because, because literally of the song itself. It's every day, there they go, they all turned their backs. It's pretty funny, it's like, what could we wear to the Teen Choice Awards? And they're probably like, I don't know, I'm gonna wear like this this cool shirt and Nick Crompton's like, I'm gonna wear a big jacket with that looks like it was mauled by a tiger from the video. And then Jake's like, no, no, no. We have to wear matching Team 10 shiny jackets. And they were like, yes, your master, yes. So far, very great. Just people jumping around and Jake is out of breath and it's been nine seconds. Uh, it's really alarming because the crowd is singing along. I can't believe that this is a real thing that exists. Like, the crowd is literally, like, singing. It's 4.52, and I got the text to prove. There is a crowd of thousands of people there watching this. I think that's worse than the actual performance itself. And they're singing! They're singing along! You know that there's like dads and moms in the audience that are just like, Jesus Christ, what is happening? You know, they're, they're like, grew up in the age where it was like the Beatles and the Rolling Stones and, you know, the Jimi Hendrix of the world. And then their daughter's like, I want to see a concert. And they're like, all right, cool. That's what I did when I was younger. Let's go. And then you see the shiny jacket crew doing some sort of chicken wing or maybe like their dances are almost like a baby bird that's trying to fly for the first time but doesn't have the development yet in their wings to do so and their poor parents are probably just like well that's it I failed as a parent I 
Who are some of these people? And I didn't know these people. So many. The crowd's literally chanting it. Yes. Mick Crompton is such a meme. It's he is such a meme, dude. It's so funny. And I know I called him, you know, a big version of Bieber, and I took some heat for that. And I'm sticking with it. He still says England is my city. Didn't even correct it. There's the other guy. These are the people Rice Gun tried to fight or got wanted to beat up. Everyone's just doing this. It's up like everyone that's dancing. It is like looking like they're about to slip and fall on ice. You know, it's like, you know when you're like, if you go ice skating or you say you're walking on ice and you're kind of like, whoa, whoa, whoa. It's literally like they're doing that. But on stage, in front of millions of people with the video in the background, because, because why not? And this guy is rapping and just said the word Jakey. As a grown man. Oh, he's taking his jacket off. Yes. Oh, he threw it out. The amount of people that just went crazy for that jacket. Oh, they fought over that thing like he threw millions of dollars at them. Hopefully the dad that probably took his daughter there, like took the jacket and was like, Get the, give me this damn thing. He just like throws it out in the garbage. Just like tosses it in the trash. Just lights it on fire. It looks very shiny. It looks like a type of material that'll just burn. And since Jake almost lights his house on fire every week, they probably should get better, like different jackets because they'll probably light up the whole neighborhood legit. So there's that. There's girls fighting over a jacket. Here's the twins. The only part that I don't hate. That's not them! Who are these guys? Are these like the, the Walmart version of the Walmart version? They're not even saying anything, it's just a track! They... Where are the Martinez twins? I can't believe I'm even saying that. These guys are like 65 years old wearing white skinny jeans. I guess the Martinez twins finally were like, nah, man. Can't do it. We can't do it. We're not doing this. So they got these just random dudes that I guess are also in Team 10. I know my comments are going to be like people yelling at me. Like, you don't know? That's, that's Mark and Johnny. How do you not know Mark and Johnny? They always wear white skinny jeans. That's their thing. You're a hater. Because you don't wear ski white skinny jeans. You're not you can you can't even hear them. They were probably just like turn off the track when we go up. Just shut it off and just play that song. Don't even put our voices on there. Great, wonderful, a riveting stuff there. What just did Jake Paul just die on stage? I'm going back. Jake Paul looked like he just went to do something with the mic and like throws it and then does some sort of weird belly flop to try to play it off. It's like, you know, when you trip in public and then you like, you kind of act like you didn't do it. So you're like, maybe you do a push up or two and you're like, just doing push ups. I'm going to replay this. He <laughs> fucked. <laughs> What was that? He fucking belly flops. Oh my god. Isn't there a song called The Fall of Jake Paul? That is literally the fall in Jake Paul in real life. That is so funny. Why did I not see this? Okay, Tessa. With your, with your big boots. Yep. Yeah, she, she's... 
Uh, the crowd is going crazy. Jake Paul acting like he didn't just fall on live television, though. They're throwing their jackets. Team choice, we out. We out. That's how Jake Paul ends it. Teen choice, we out. Like he's fucking Ryan Seacrest. This was like basically a glorified drunk karaoke version of their actual song live. Just a lot of, you know, like it looks like, you know, they're trying to itch their shirt with their elbow and also I just realized that he said to Disney Channel flow but he's not on Disney anymore here's the thing that I mean look okay I'll preface this. if you're a fan of Jake Paul and Team 10 gr I, I said great I really it's it's fine like you're allowed to like whoever you want that's the beauty of YouTube like you can do whatever you want with that I think that what is annoying about this is there are so many artists up-and-coming artists and really pr talented artists that should have been should be on that stage you know it's like a tv thing a lot of people watching and like there are so many artists that work really hard that are are really talented and you can like jake but you can't tell me that they are talented at singing and rapping it makes me sad that so many people could have been up there doing what they love like legitimately performing songs that mean a lot to them and have a lot of meaning and they chose jake and his team because obviously because it uh, it does well and people watch. I'm talking about it right now. But that's what bums me out. My theory is Miley Cyrus backed out apparently like a couple days before. I think that they last minute were like, okay, we need to fill a spot. Jake will do it because he'll do anything for attention. So they just asked him to do it. Um, but that's my gripe. Like, I get, okay, they're having fun. That's fine. I get that. Not all power to them. They're living their lives. But it's not good and people who really appreciate music and art the artistry of it and songwriting should be on that stage and not that give more give stage time to people that deserve it hell give the give the Dolan twins more airtime that's the case put them on for five minutes I'd watch that make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you're new here make sure to subscribe if you're a fan of Jake Paul do whatever you want because it's what it's fine uh you just hope you got the jacket that they threw out just be careful it's very flammable and that is it for me uh comment down below some things i should react to for the next drunk guy reacts i literally find what i'm gonna do in these videos from the comments and my tweets so just literally just tell me what i should react to um the cringier the better that is it i will see you guys right here next time and hey Stay average. Yeah.